Hey there folks, this is Chris Hargraves from tipsforlawyers.com and welcome to the Tips for Lawyers show. Now if you're watching the video, you'll have seen that I've done a little bit of decorating. I realized after editing the last video that it was a little bit boring and there was no visual interest behind me so I put some shelves up and I did a few things and I put a few things around so that you can see them. I'm still tinkering with the audio. I thought the audio came out pretty good, but this is a different setup and I have no idea how to make it sound good this time. So again, let me know if the audio is terrible, especially if you're listening on the podcast. So you can find the two versions of the show, tipsforlawyers.com slash iTunes for the podcast version, tipsforlawyers.com slash YouTube for the video version. And that will take you to the right spot and you will be able to see the show there as well as subscribe, which of course I want you to do. So. What are we going to talk about today? We ended the last episode with the idea of going all in, and that is why law firms were not succeeding on social media. And I wanted to take that theme and I wanted to run with it a little bit more, but I wanted to niche it down into your particular circumstances to ask you this question. Are you all in on your legal career? So a few things to be getting on with then. Firstly, this is going to be a shorter show. I realized the last one or 25 minutes was just a little bit too long for comfort, both for me to edit and you to listen to in your busy schedule. So I'm making these a bit shorter now. I'm aiming for 10 to 15 minutes. I may keep talking. It might be shorter. It might be longer. We'll see how we go. But we're talking about whether you are all in on your legal career. Here are the statistics, and I'm making these up, but they are strike a very soft bell in my head, so I think they're pretty close. 3.4 times more likely to suffer depression, lawyers are, than the normal public. And I call them normal uh, deliberately. You are about 70% of senior lawyers actually don't recommend people should become lawyers. 70% of senior lawyers, seven out of 10. That's a terrible, terrible statistic. Around 50% of lawyers are leaving the profession before or at the five year mark. So by five years after admission, 50% of lawyers have left. And so the question is why? The question is what are you doing in the profession right now? Are you all in? Are you invested? Are you actually wanting to be a lawyer or are you just sort of going through the motions until you've paid back your government debts and then you're gonna get out and do something else? Because if you're not invested, let me ask you this, if I'm your client and you are not invested in your career, why would you be invested in me? How do I know that you have the skills and the necessary tools at your disposal to ensure that you are going to serve my interests properly? Because if you're not all in, how do I know you're not staying up to date? How do I know that you actually can't communicate that well? How do I know that you are investing in your skills so that you can deliver things better to me in my interests and do the job properly? There are a lot of lawyers who are not all in because they don't really enjoy their jobs and they're not enjoying their jobs because they've chosen not to enjoy their jobs. Now, if you work for difficult people, then I sympathize. If you work in a rough environment, then I sympathize, but it's your choice how you respond to that. It's your choice whether you are going to be all in on your career. So let me ask you this. When you go to a coffee shop, there's a difference, isn't there, between the barista who just takes your order and then hands you a coffee to the barista who learns your name and who next time remembers the coffee you have and makes it without asking and takes a risk and says hello to you, engages with you, they remember you. There is a difference between those two people. What about the ones who smile and make eye contact versus the ones who don't? There is a difference between a barista who is all in on their job and is who is investing emotionally in their job and the one who is simply making coffee. You still end up with a coffee at the end, but there is a big difference. And there's a difference in their lives as well because they are investing in what they do. Are you investing in what you do? Are you all in on what you do? Or are you just going through the motions? 
So what does all in even look like for a lawyer? Maybe it looks like this. Are you working the minimum hours required? Are you simply turning up at the last possible moment and leaving at the first possible moment? Now in legal circles, that's a tough gig to get by with, so congratulations if you've managed to do that. But is that a sign that you're not really invested in your job? What about how you interact with your colleagues? Are you interacting with your colleagues in a positive way to effect positive change, to impact positively on their lives? Or are you just walking in, putting your head down, doing your work, and then getting out again? What about how you are treating your legal career and your skills? Are you investing in yourself? Are you spending time outside work learning the skills that you need? Are you practicing doing things in a unique and positive and different way? Are you thinking about ways in which things could be improved? Are you investing in your career or are you just hoping that if you turn up often enough and do the same thing often enough, then you'll get there in the end? Because the reality is that practice does not make perfect. It does not. You cannot simply do the wrong thing over and over again and hope that you will get better at it. If you are doing the wrong thing, that's what you are practicing. If you are practicing the wrong thing every day, then you are going to learn to do the wrong thing. And that goes for attitudes, it goes for skills, it goes for interactions, it goes for colleagues, it goes with the law. If you learn the wrong thing and do the wrong thing over and over again, then you will have practiced the wrong thing and you will perfect the wrong thing. And if you are all in on your career, then you don't want to perfect the wrong thing. You want to look at ways of doing it better. And you want to look at ways of improving yourself. You want to look at ways of incrementally, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, and hourly, going back to the start, finding ways that you can improve on what you were before that opportunity. Because in the 24 hours you have in a day, in the series of days you have in a week, in the series of weeks you have in a month, there is huge opportunity for you to invest in your career, to spend time learning things, to spend effort investing in people, to exert emotional labor with your job. That is what all in for a lawyer looks like. And my question for you is, are you all in on your legal career? And if you are, or if you tell me you are, what does that actually look like? What do you do that is different from the people who are not invested in their careers? And if you tell me you work 20 hours a day, but you can't point to any signals that are actually doing anything beyond merely what you're told to do day to day, then you're still not all in. You're working hard, you're working long hours, but that is different to being all in. That is different to investing emotional labor. If I go and I stamp stamps on something for 20 hours a day, I'm working very hard, but I'm not necessarily going to enjoy it. I'm not going to invest in it. I'm not going to skill up in that. How are you all in and what are you going to do with those tools to improve the place around you? That's what being all in is about. And that's my question for you today. And possibly that's my challenge for you today. Are you all in on your career? What opportunities are you taking? How are you investing in yourself and those around you so that you're making your law firm, yourself, other people, and the world a better place to be? Because that's ultimately what All In is about. It is about improvement. Let me know in the comments. Let me know via an email, chris at tipsoflawyers.com. You can email me. You can send me a contact message. How are you All In and what does that look like in your day to day? That's the end of this episode of the Tips for Lawyers show. As always, I would like you to subscribe, head over to iTunes, head to podcast on the website, head to YouTube, click one of the subscribe buttons and make sure you're sharing this with people who you think might need it. I'll see you in the next show.